Hi guys, thank you for watching. Today I'm just gonna share with you one of my go-to looks that's really simple and easy to do. And it's something that I do when I know that I have lunch plans or dinner plans with my friends. And I just wanna throw myself together under a short amount of time. And if you wanna see how I do this look, then please continue watching. Thank you. So I'm just gonna start with my Born This Way foundation. Um, it's by Too Faced and I have it in the shade Ivory. And then I'm just gonna put it at the back of my hand and use my fingers and put dots on my face. And then I just take a damp beauty blender and then I blend everything out. After putting on my foundation, I like to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair. And I use it to hide the dark spots on my face and to highlight the high points of my face. I put it in a triangle shape. And under my chin. And on the bridge of my nose. And then make a V shape on my forehead. After putting on the concealer, I use the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder just to set everything. And I put it on the spots where I put the concealer a while ago. I just take a dry beauty blender and I use this to apply it on my face. And then I just let the powder sit for a while. After putting the Loose Translucent Powder, um, I like to use the Hoola Benefit Bronzer just to warm my face up. And I use a NARS Ida brush just to help contour my face. And then I also put the bronzer on my forehead. And if you have a big forehead like I do, then you can contour more here on this part. And then on the jawline as well. And then for my brows, the most favorite, favorite thing that I use would be my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and it's in the shade Caramel. I'm just using this Makeup Forever um, 274 brush. For my brows, I just like to line the tail of my brows first. I start at the end and then I just fill it in. And then I just brush it with a spoolie just so that everything looks more blended and more natural. After doing my brows, I like to use the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer as a primer for my eyelids as well. And then I just use the Beauty Blender to blend it again. For my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the Tartlet Palette by Tarte. I'm gonna be starting with a light brown shade, which is this one. And then I'm just gonna put it all over my crease. And then I'm gonna be using a light nude shade just to put it all over my lid. And then after that, I'm using this purplish shade and I'm gonna be putting it on the corners of my lid. I'm just putting it on the crease and then I'm gonna blend it out later. Then I'm gonna take a darker purple and I'm gonna put it on the corner of my lids as well. And then I'm gonna use a white shade just to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm gonna take a thinner brush and then I'm gonna use the purplish shade that we used a while ago and I'm just gonna put it on my lash line.
After putting on the eyeshadow, I'm just gonna take my eyelash curler and then I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Hyper Curl Mascara. And then to volumize it a little more, I'm just gonna be putting on the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. After doing my mascara, um, I just take a fluffy brush and then I use it to wipe off the excess powder that we put in a while ago. And then I use the NARS um, blush on and it's in the shade Deep Throat. Then I just put it on the apples of my cheeks. And then after putting on my blush on, Sometimes I like to contour my nose as well, so I just take my Hoola bronzer and then I use the eyeshadow brush. And then I just take my beauty blender again just to blend everything out. After everything, the last thing that I do is put on my lipstick and I'm using the Retro Matte by MAC and it's in the shade Lady Be Good. After that, I just like to set it with my Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray and it just makes your makeup stay on longer. And so this is the finished look. 